Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So this is a complex integral. We have to find its value where C is an ellipse. Okay. Whose equation is given here. And we have to find the value of this integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay. So let us write the given integral first. We will call it as I. We have i is equal to integration over c z sec z upon 1 minus z square dz. So, this is a given integration. See, the most important thing is that given curve c. Okay, so let us find that curve, let us draw that curve, and then we will solve the remaining part of a problem. So, here c is an ellipse, c is an ellipse. 4x square plus 9y square by 4 is equal to 9. Okay. So, this is a given equation of ellipse. We have to draw it first. Okay. But the problem is that the given equation is not in its standard form. The standard form of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. That means in simple language, you can see right hand side must be 1. But see here we have a right hand side 9. So that's why I should divide both sides by 9. If you divide this side by 9, 9 by 9, you will get 1. Okay, so I'm dividing both sides by 9. So therefore, you will get 4x square by 9. If you divide it by 9, 9, 9 will get cancelled. y square by 4 and 9 upon 9, which is 1. Okay, so now it is looking like this since in right hand side we have 1 but here we have just x square only and we have 4 x square actually we want x square upon some square of uh, square of some constant and y square upon square of some constant getting so i want exactly that form so what will i do i will divide uh, numerator and denominator by 4 or in other words you can say 4 is at numerator that means we can write it as in denominator of denominator that means the same equation can be written as x square by 4 by 9 4 is in denominator of denominator that means it will be shifted to numerator and you will get 4 x square plus y square by 4 is equal to 1 see we have to write in a form of squares no so therefore x square 4 by uh, 9 by 4 that means 3 by 2 square and y square 4 means 2 square is equal to 1 this is the equation of ellipse now it is exactly looking looking as that one you can easily see a is equal to 3 by 2 and b is equal to 2 so when you have this type of equation getting we have to draw ellipse like this it cuts x axis at point a okay a and minus a and it cuts y axis at point b and minus b suppose b is here minus b is here so we get this type of ellipse so in this case we have a is 3 by 2 and b is 2 so by considering it we have to draw the ellipse okay so let us go further i will draw the ellipse here let me remove this part okay okay so let us draw the ellipse it's a very important thing this is imaginary axis, this is real axis. Let us take some scaling here, 1, 2, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2, right? It cuts x axis at 3 by 2, 3 by 2 means 1.5. It cuts x axis at 1.5, it is here and minus 1.5, it is here, right? It cuts y axis at point 2 and minus 2. So, 2 and minus 2. So, I should draw the ellipse like this 2 minus 2, right? Yeah, our ellipse will be like this. So, this is a rough sketch of an ellipse, get it? So, it is looking like this. It is 1.5 minus 1.5. Here we have 2 and here we have minus 2, right? So, this is an ellipse. Uh, okay, so after that, the second important thing is a function, whatever the inside the integration that is our function. So, what is our function? We have, 
let us call it as f of z which is z sec z upon 1 minus z square right this is a function so they have told us to solve this complex integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem so let us see what is Cauchy's residue theorem then we can plan how to solve this problem right so Cauchy's residue theorem is basically integration over c f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues that means with the help of residues we find the value of integration okay what we do we find the singular points of given function singular points that means a point where function is not analytic or the points generally we say the point where the denominator is zero we check those points are lying inside the curve or outside the curve if any point lies outside the curve no need to find residue but see if any point lies inside a curve we must find its residue okay residue of that pole then we take sum of all these residues and we take product with 2 pi i so we get the value of integration i will do the same first of all we have to find its singular points we will check those are lying outside or inside if they are lying inside we will find residues then sum of residues and product by 2 pi i so this will be the procedure okay so will you tell me at which points denominator will be zero actually in denominator we have a z square that means polynomial of degree 2 it is always better to find the factors okay for factors of denominator then we can easily see at which points the denominator will be zero so we can find the factors no tell me uh, are you familiar with this formula a square minus b square this is a plus b a minus b this formula is applicable here one means one square you can say so this is z sec z upon 1 minus z 1 plus z right yes so you with the help of this formula we found out the factors now will you tell me at which points denominator will be 0 see if z is equal to 1 if I put z is equal to 1 1 minus 1 0 that means we get the denominator 0 and if I put z is equal to minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 that means again denominator is 0 that means if I put z is equal to 1 or if I put z is equal to minus 1 we are getting denominator 0 that means these are singular points so here z is equal to 1 and z is equal to minus 1 I should write properly are singular points now the next question is those singular points are lying inside or outside the given curve let us find z is equal to 1 here minus 1 here that means both singular points are lying inside the curve that means we have to find residue at both points both lie inside c so we have to find residue at z is equal to 1 as well as z is equal to minus 1 now the next question is how to find residue see there is one definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion but generally we try to avoid the definition of residue to calculate it since it's very hectic task it is it takes more time get it so uh, which uh, if the given residue uh, sorry given singular points are poles we have very simple formula to calculate and fortunately z is equal to 1 and z is equal to minus 1 are simple poles since these brackets have power 1 so 1 and minus 1 both are simple poles so we have a very simple formula to calculate residue here z is equal to 1 and z is equal to minus 1 are simple poles okay so we have a simple formula to calculate residue but see there is no more uh, space to solve the problem just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us find residue at z is equal to 1 okay so residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 the formula is limit z tends to 1 
Z minus 1 f of Z. Okay, so this is a formula to calculate residue since it is a simple pole, right? This that is our f of Z. Let us put it here. Limit Z tends to 1, Z minus 1. Our f of Z is Z sec Z upon 1 minus Z square. So we already found out the factors 1 minus Z, 1 plus Z. Okay. Here we have z minus 1 here, 1 minus z. What will I do? I will take minus sign common so we can bring the same bracket there. Limit z tends to 1 minus sign outside. So terms will interchange because we have taken minus sign outside upon 1 minus z, 1 plus z. Okay. So tell me can we cancel anything here? Definitely this 1 minus z, 1 minus z will get cancelled. So, in the remaining part, we can apply the limit. That means at a place of z, we can put 1 everywhere. So, let us see what will happen. So, this is equal to minus 1 sec 1, right, upon 1 plus 1, 2. That means minus sec 1 upon 2. So, this is required residue. Okay. So, we found out the residue at z is equal to 1. Similarly, z is equal to minus 1. That is also simple pole. So, we can find residue at that point also. So, let us calculate. Residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1. It is also simple pole. So, that is why I am using the same formula to calculate residue. Just at a place of 1, we will have minus 1. If I put minus 1 here, minus minus plus f of z, so limit z tends to minus 1, z plus 1, same f of z I will write there, okay. z sec z upon 1 minus z, 1 plus z. So tell me, can we cancel anything? Definitely. This 1 plus z and this z plus 1, both are same, no? a plus b and b plus a. So, both are same, so we can cancel. And for remaining terms, we have to apply the limit. Apply the limit, that means at a place of z, we have to put minus 1. So, minus 1 sec minus 1 upon minus 1 minus 1, right? So, minus sign outside. In case of sec, that minus sign will get absorbed, getting? So, sec 1 only. Actually, inside sec, we have minus 1, but see in case in case of sec minus sign will get epsilon and you will get 1 and minus 2. So, minus minus cancel and we get sec 1 upon 2, right? So, this is a required residue. So, we had got two singular points inside the circle, okay? And we found out residue at both points. So, now it is time to use Cauchy's residue theorem, okay? So, let us write by Cauchy's residue theorem. So, Cauchy's residue theorem integration over C z sec z upon 1 minus z square dz. It is 2 pi i sum of residues. So, this is equal to 2 pi i. Our first residue was minus sec 1 upon 2. The second residue is sec 1 upon 2. So, those will get cancelled to each other. Since both are same, just having opposite signs. So, 0. 0 into anything? 0. That means the value of integration is 0. In this way, we solved example. Just make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.